morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone. It's another year, it's another season. This is Ramadan season and um, uh, some people were asking me last time what was my recipe for samosa. So we are here preparing for Ramadan and I'm going to take you through the whole process on how I make samosa. So this is mint, fresh mint. This is what I'm going to use and cheese, okay? So what I need to do is, <laughs> this is how I do it. Uh, you can use uh, the one that is dried up or you can use the fresh one, for, but for here they prefer fresh mint. Okay, so we only need to pluck off one, 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 just like this, a leaf only. It's what we need then to we prepare our recipe for samosa. Mm. Just like this. This is what we need. The yellow one we don't put, we just need fresh. Okay, the green one is what we need out of this. So actually, this is what we need. Let's do it now. So this is it. This is what I need. I'm going to wash it, dry it. Orange. After washing it, I have to make sure that I, uh, I actually need it with no water. So I have to drain it. Uh, there I'm trying to remove the water. Mm, it will take me like um, some minutes, but at least I need it dry. Yes. So afterwards, I'll put it in a machine. Um, it's better when I use the machine, I think, than using the hands. There, it won't take too much time, and I need it like in smaller pieces. Uh, so the machine is better than using like the hands. So there we go. This is the most recipe or the most snacks that we do use during Ramadan. It's more delicious and uh, most of them they do like it by the way. So before we do any other thing, there are so many snacks that we do use during Ramadan but before we do other snacks we have to first make cheese and mint because uh, we need it in too much as in too much and uh, it's the most that we do use. So the rest, it's like the additionals. Okay. So that's why, yeah, when I see you, are, you as you can say, I still have the energy to do it in print. So we need more. So since we need more, it's the first thing we do than doing other recipes or than doing other snacks so here i'm going to deal with the cheese and as you can see this is how i need it last time i was advised to use uh, like uh, there is a food processor but um i think using this is better than using the food processor uh, because uh, as you can see very well this is how i need it i need it like one one you know, I don't want to make it like to be squeezed or to like, you know, I, I need it the way it is right now, the way you can see it. So I'm trying to add, I'm trying to make like um, little by little as I add on the mint, little by little as I add on the mint. So when I reached like as in to mix each and everything there, it is going to be more easy for me to mix because uh, now the cheese 
it, it have already mixed it up so it i won't take too much as in to mix like when i'm mixing you see so this is how i make each and everything okay i came I came across a question and uh, someone was asking like how many samosa can I make in a day? Like uh, if um, I'm to make samosa, I don't take the like the whole day to make them. I need just hours. As you can see what I'm preparing right now, this recipe that I'm preparing right now, it's what I'm going to use for a day. Then tomorrow i make another tomorrow i make another like i don't make like the whole day making samosa because obviously it takes a lot of time and uh, though i have the experience i'm now used to it but just that i'm preparing right now i can just take hours eh? like one and a half or two hours if I don't have like anything to disturb me. So that means it's um, like, uh, like I prepare like a recipe for 200 samosa like there. Yeah, I, I can get like 200 samosa like, like within just hour. I don't take like the whole day uh, though. I specifically make those hours for making samosa. Then afterwards, I deal with other things. Okay. But I don't take like the whole day making them. I know I am now used to. So I don't take too much time. If I'm to be up and down, there I can take to two hours. But if I'm um i'm just there and i sit there specifically to make some monster i can make like an hour and a half to finish all that if i'm not disturbed if i'm not like called to do another thing yes this is how i can answer you and maybe if you have like the samosa papers that are very good that are very good huh, there you can enjoy what you're doing at times uh, we might get the papers which are not good and um, we take too much time while like separating them so but if we get the paper samosa papers that are very good for sure um we do well and we do it quickly very quickly as we enjoy everything so here we go this is our final touch okay so this is it so you wait for the video when i'm folding the samosa okay it's a coming up thank you so much for watching thank you so much for liking thank you so much for everything and thank you so much for loving massima